Hello and welcome back to Dr. Logic, Upwardly Does Logic in her office. Having introduced the notion of equivalence between formulas, so different syntactic strings that have exactly the same truth values, is an important first step to the next thing that we're going to talk about, which is the notion of a normal form. It's the idea that given all of the different ways that we can represent propositional logical formulas, conjunction, disjunction, implication, negation, lack of negation, we can combine these in an unbounded number of ways. But sometimes it's useful to be able to reduce formulas to ones that have the same meaning, so exactly the same truth conditions and truth values, but have a much nicer and easier to use structure. And that's where the idea of a normal form comes in. A normal form of a formula is going to be, if you take an arbitrary formula, we will generate a normal form, equivalent formula, that has really nice structural properties. So before we start defining various types of normal forms, there's lots of types. The two I'm going to talk about are conjunctive normal form and disjunctive normal form. Before I do that, I just want to point out two things. First, if you have a formula phi, that is always going to be equivalent to the conjunction of that formula with itself. So phi and phi and phi will always have exactly the same truth value. If phi is true, the conjunction of it with itself is true. If it's false, the conjunction is false. The same is true of disjunctions. If you have a formula phi and you take the disjunction of it in itself, phi or phi, it will always have the same truth value as the original formula phi. So with that in mind, we can think of individual formulas as being conjunctions. Even if they are syntactically conjunctions, they're equivalent to conjunctions. We can think of them as being conjunctions with only one conjunct or disjunctions with only one disjunct. So they are in a sense kind of degenerate. They aren't really conjunctions because the way we define them, you have to have at least two conjuncts but they are always going to be equivalent to a conjunction. So we will kind of file them in our head as you know, conjunctions, but with only one conjunct or disjunctions, but only with one disjunct. So keep that in mind because that's going to be important once we start converting things into conjunctive normal form and disjunctive normal form. But before we start talking about anything, any kind of conversions like that, first I need to tell you what they are. So, definition of conjunctive normal form, or as we will call it from now on, CNF. So, a formula phi is said to be in conjunctive normal form if First of all, it is a conjunction, possibly one of these degenerate ones that I just introduced to you. And so let me put that. So everything is a conjunction, possibly degenerate. I'll stick that in there explicitly. In which each of the conjuncts is a disjunction. Again, possibly degenerate of atomic propositions or their negations. So, in which each conjunct is itself a disjunction, possibly degenerate, so possibly containing only one disjunct, of atoms or negations of atoms. Con uh, disjunctive normal form is going to be exactly the same thing, except it will be a disjunction, possibly degenerate, of, of conjunctions of atoms or negations of atoms. So let's see if I can actually write this in here. So we can modify this definition to get oops, this, this, the, disjunctive normal form. This is, of course, going to be DNF, not the same as did not finish. Uh, so a formula phi is said to be in disjunctive normal form if it is a 
disjunction, possibly degenerate, in which each disjunct is itself a conjunction, possibly degenerate, of atoms or negations of atoms. So I'll give you some examples before we start talking about how we can get things that aren't in conjunctive normal form or disjunctive normal form into that form. So all of these formulas are in conjunctive normal form. P, because it is a degenerate conjunction of which each conjunct, there's only one, is a degenerate disjunction of atoms or negations of atoms. So P or not Q is in conjunctive normal form, even though there is no conjunctive symbol in it. It is again a degenerate conjunction. There's only one conjunct, but it has a non-degenerate disjunct in it. So the P or not Q. Another case is P or R and Q. So here the conjunction is our, this is a non-degenerate conjunction and we have one degenerate disjunction and one non-degenerate disjunction. Also, we have say P or Q or not R and P or not R and R. That's another instance of something in conjunctive normal form. And it also takes advantage of the, um, uh, the notation that we introduced or the convention we introduced in the previous video of dropping the internal parentheses for the longer disjunctions and the longer conjunctions. So some examples of things that are in disjunctive normal form include B. It is a degenerate disjunction, only one, where each disjunct, there's only one, is a conjunction degenerate of atoms or negations of atoms. P or not Q is also in disjunctive normal form. Some more interesting examples, P and not P, or Q or R is an example of something in uh, disjunctive normal form. P and P, or R and not S, or P and Q is an example of something in disjunctive normal form, even though you might think that this conjunction here is reduplicative or irrelevant. And you can see that this would be exactly the same as if we had said just plain old P or R and S or P and Q. So the first thing to notice is that one and the same formula can be both in disjunctive normal form and conjunctive normal form if it is of a very simple type. So atoms, negations of atoms, simple disjunctions, simple conjunctions. Once we get more complicated, then we stop having this correspondence. So this is just to introduce you to the definitions and to give some examples. In the next video, we'll start talking about, well, we'll provide the foundations of what we need to know in order to be able to show that every single propositional logical formula is semantically equivalent to something in conjunctive normal form and to something in disjunctive normal form. So. I'll see you next time for some foundational equivalencies. See you then. Bye.